Hey everybody, and welcome back to Football Manager 2021. Um, I should have sorted out the audio like it was out of sync slightly with the webcam last time. Apologies for that, but that should be sorted, or at least a lot better this episode. I'll keep monitoring that. Hope you're all doing well. Um, I have gone on a few days. Uh, we've got to play Salford tomorrow in our kind of first proper friendly and we've made some signings um so let's have a look at who we've signed in i'm trying to get octavio here from um porto mostly as a kind of backup i think he plays really well across the front three um or, or the kind of the midfield attacking three and it can also even play in midfield as well so really versatile 10 million has the kind of key attributes i want aggression determination work rate as well as good flair settings as well so i really like him at 25 he's actually portuguese as well so no problems with the uh, work permit there so i'm trying to sign him and at 10 mil i think that's a real snip um we also signed in well actually we're better off having a look here um david neres who i got for 30 million uh, i feel like maybe overpaid slightly but i think that's reasonable for him especially at 23 i think he'll go on and be a good player um, good pace, really good dribbling, you know, good flair as well, and still has decent work rate and aggression for for what is a flair player. So that wide right is is where he'll play uh, for us. I signed this guy, Takihiro Tomiyashu. Um, you might be like, who the hell is this guy, and why have you signed him? Well, firstly, extremely high potential. Uh, secondly, uh, Japanese. So. As soon as I signed him, it said like, oh, you're going to have a commercial windfall. So we will make that money back on commercial, uh, you know, commercial money wise. No problems. Um, thirdly, can play right back. We needed cover for wan and can play centre back and is perfectly capable of both with good stats in both. Not the greatest player currently you'll ever see. I signed him for 17 million from Bologna. I think it was worth it. Um, got a work permit somehow. Don't really know how but I did it. Um, really good. Really looking forward to him. I think definitely back up for um, wan -Bissaka. I like the fact that he, he does play football. Um, more attacking than wan -Bissaka, so there's something to kind of consider there. Uh, and yeah, I think a really good signing, actually. And Mandzukic, the guy who, a uh, bit of a mean player again for Man United, but I think actually, in terms of what we want to play, really, really useful. And Obviously, um, we'll have a look at kind of what I'm thinking as my starting lineup and 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 going there. But I think Mandzukic could be a great like off the bench player, possibly playing in some of the like um, you know easier cup games, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And he only wanted fifty six grand a week, and I was like, that. I mean, in the real world, that's obviously a horrendous amount of money. But in the football world, that's not actually a huge amount of money. You know, if he'd have wanted one hundred and fifty, I, I would have thought about it. But at fifty six, I. 66k a week i think it's good sure it's going to be a one season guy yeah could even play wide left if we really needed to into but um i think a pretty good pretty good signing um to be completely honest with you he's always scored goals throughout his career um yeah he's one of those guys professional leader you know gonna help the squad basically um we also signed a youngster um, we had a look at him to begin with 1.3 mil for this guy who could potentially go on to be uh, really really good immediately loaned him out to crew so uh, he's going to get some game time there hopefully and we also signed Karamoka Dembele the young wunder kid from uh, Celtic for not a lot of money uh, two and a half million um, he's obviously gone down in estimations from last football manager where he would have been about 25 million I think so we'll keep an eye on how he does. His potentials, if he gets to four stars, then that's two and a half million very well spent. So we'll we'll see how that kind of goes. But um, but yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. Um, we also sold Rojo um, for 4.3 million to uh, uh, Guangzhou, the Chinese side. So I'm, I'm pretty happy with that, really. Um, yeah, so or, oh, we sold Lee Grant as well to Sporting Kansas City. They keep telling me I need another goalkeeper and I have no idea why they keep saying that because we have Romero, Henderson and De Gea. <laughs> I don't know why we would need anymore. De Gea just got injured. He should be back for the start of the season. Twanzebi is still injured but should be back for the start of the season. Uh, 
Now, we also have Shaw and Tellers injured now, which is why Brandon Williams is in. Um, but otherwise, clean bill. Tactics-wise, I kind of had a look after the game and thought about what would be best for a guy. So I think maybe playing at home, something like this, a Gagan press, Fernandez, you know, attacking playmaker, Pogba as a Mazzala, and then putting my faith in McTominay. So I had a look for some ball-winning defensive midfielders, and on paper, I didn't see any better than Scott McTominay for what he is and the fact that it doesn't cost me anything to play Scott McTominay. Great aggression, teamwork, work rate, stamina, Let's see how he does. I'm not convinced, but let's see. Um, and then you might be wondering, Cavani up front, Phil. I actually think Cavani on here looks really good. And as a pressing forward, he is literally the best one in my squad. So, yeah, Martial on the bench. Uh, interesting, right? Well, we'll see. Maguire, Lindelof, and then De Gea at the back. You know, so we'll uh, we'll see how that goes. Won't we? We've got Salford tomorrow, so we're going to skip forward to that. I also did more of my set pieces, so corner-wise I adjusted this so that we were a bit more attacking on that and, and a bit more in defence. I want to leave two up, um, mostly because I don't think Neres or Rashford offer a huge amount in defence. I mean, Rashford's actually a lot better in defence than, um, yeah, he might be, but I, I think with those two up front, you have a real counter-attack threat there. Um and same way when we attack, I wanted a bit more up front as well. So Rash was going to lurk at that near post, hopefully get some tap-ins. Cavani attacking the far post. Pogba attacking the ball from the edge of the area. Uh, you know, Neres kind of lurking outside the area. And then, um, you know, our left back and right back, whoever they might be, um, kind of uh, back a little bit. So and same kind of with, with the free kicks as well, uh, essentially. Um, very attacking. Yes, but, um, you know, I think set pieces are a really underrated uh, value in, in football in general, really. So, yeah. So we need an under-23 coach. Um, we've got some good under-18 coaches. I actually like him. I'm going to promote him. It's something I, I don't really do a lot in um, football managers, promote from your youth team up. And you should. I think I should do, really. Okay, so... That's good. Who's this guy? Okay, interesting. <laughs> Put him in. Um, but yeah, so I think we are hitting a lot of uh, our kind of. We hit, we're signing. We signed some English players. We've definitely signed players under the age of twenty-two. Let's have a look what they think. Um, are oh, they delighted with the financial aspects of my signings? So, yeah, B's all round, actually. That's pretty good, isn't it? And then A's and... Yeah, they're disappointed with the deal. I don't know why. 1.3 million is like nothing. It's very bizarre. Um, they weren't happy. They thought I should have got more for Lee Grant and Rojo, but, you know, Rojo cost them how much? 16 million when they signed him. Just didn't work out, though, did it? I don't actually think Marcus Rojo is a bad defender. I just think he's not a Premier League defender. Um... Okay, under 18's lost to Liverpool. Not ideal. Mahugaworth. Move Hugaworth. Oh, Ryan Brewster hat trick there for Sheffield United. In FIFA, as uh, uh, FIFA, football manager, um, 19, shall we say, he was a beast. Football manager, 20, I felt like he dropped off a lot, actually. Um, this one, I'm intrigued to know what they say. Um, Okay. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Finish. Okay. Right. So friendly against Salford City FC. Let's see what we've got. Oh, okay. Uh, in which case we will put Lingard back in. I had actually dropped him because I wasn't really planning on using him. Okay. Okay. Cavani is concerned because the passing spate doesn't suit his passing, but it does for Pogba. Um, well, sorry, Cavani, but he's going to have to learn, isn't he? He's going to have to learn. Oh, this is cool. I like this. Rashford isn't ready for a match like this. Okay. 
Uh, interesting. This is cool though. I like this a lot. Okay. Um, oh, they want me to bloody well. Okay. I want to pump my fists. So we're favorite for a reason. Team talk. Oh, Manzukas didn't like that. Defenders. Uh, God, I hate these tutorials. Next, finish. Thank you. I know what I'm doing. I see a good performance today from that defense, Henrik Wire. No complacency, please. Here we go. So we're playing a, a Gagan press, which is less possession based, but definitely more higher tempo. Um, maybe it's not the greatest thing to play pre-season, uh, but we've got other tactics we can switch to. I've got a kind of vertical tiki daka we could do maybe in the second half, see how things work. Oh, Neres nearly with the, I don't want to say debut goal because, but it kind of is. If it's scored anyway, it's Neres. I just want it nice and simple from Atomini and then just break down if they attack, basically. That's all I want from him. Okay, it's a pen. Bruno Fernandez is on it. It should be 1-0. Fernandez is very good at penalties. Yes, he has 19 for penalties. So in real life though, he is he is pretty spectacular penalties, so can't really uh, argue with that. Okay. I mean, listen. We should we should win this five or six nil, shouldn't we? Really, but it's a preseason friendly, and anything can happen. And we will change a lot of players in the second half. I like to try and keep um, a strong like to know kind of quite early on what your first team is going to be because I mean things can change. You know, if someone has a sparkling you know form up front, you know, preseason or whatever, then. You know, I will often try, but it's it's good to know what your first... Oh, I like Neres, though. I like him shooting from there. Um, it's good to know what your, your first 11 is going to be because... Or at least your idea of it, because um, you want them to start playing together, you know? I do, I do like this new user interface. I'm impressed with it so far. I like it. I think it's very clean, but there's a lot of really good information on there. Um, I haven't played around yet to see if anything is kind of very... Um, disallowed offside, yeah, fair enough. Um, to see if anything is... You can kind of like customise it or anything like that. Ooh, I mean, I think he was, but... It was close, wasn't it? Uh, I mean, you know, we've dominated them, obviously. Here comes Williams crossing in. Oh, Cavani. Yeah, the Cavani thing is the the one where I'm like, not 100% sure on, on Cavani. Like, leaving Martial out is a, is a big... Oof, although, that's what I want him to be able to do. I just... I feel like he offers obviously a lot more aerially, like there's a massive threat there. And I don't want to go back to the David Moyes thing of crossing the ball into box 15 million times to uh, <laughs> you know, try and score a goal. But listen, it's kind of effective, especially if teams are going to play a low block against you. It can be very effective. Oh, good, good goal, Rashford. I'm hoping Rashford has a good season as well. Should be good. I'm hoping to complete at least kind of one season in this beta. Um, you know, we've got two weeks until the um, till the, the the kind of main uh, uh, game release, I guess, comes out, and uh, I hope we. Uh, I hope to complete at least a season, maybe two, who knows? It depends if we get sacked or not, doesn't it, really? <laughs> could could easily happen. I'd like to think I'm fairly experienced in football manager, but it's always that scary thought of like, 
you get comfortable in, in your football manager. You know the tactics you like, you know the players you like, you know you know what you're doing, you know, and then you a new one comes out and it's this whole new uh like you know this whole new you're completely out of your comfort zone basically, you know. That's good play from Cavani there. Unlucky Rashi. I mean, really, I think we're performing exactly as I would want, which is good. Like, don't get me wrong. Oh, I swear Nero's has hit the, bent, uh, the post three times today. I absolutely swear that's happened. He's got to get a goal at some point. Okay, yeah, we will work the ball into the box. Not that. Our XG is 1.64. We are three goals to good. Oh, okay. Okay, interesting. How did that happen? They had just bad marking, really, isn't it? Maybe I left too many players up. I don't know, but I'm not going to worry too much. Okay, so we have a half time back from advice. Focus on attacking pieces was paid off as as in Gravani score from well excuses set play. Good. That's what I like to see. Um Our XG is way higher. Yeah. Player statistics. Okay, that's them. I don't really care about them. So oh we're very high, apart from Cavani. But it did say like, yeah, we might change him from past space to Passable to the feet. Analytical data. Wow, look at this. Ooh, if you like Microsoft Excel, you will love this. <laughs> oh, yeah, look how far advanced we are. Average positions compared to them. I mean, it's exactly as it should be at Salford. I'm not going to get carried away, but uh, it's good. Um, very happy. Um, Let's go to the tactics then. Can we do an individual tactics edit? Can we tell him not to pass? I want fewer fewer risks on the passing front there from Cavani. He's a bit of a low passing completion rate right there. He's not really I don't really want him as my playmaker, you know. I want him on the end of the passes. So pass it to Bruno sort of thing. They're playing five four one. I think I'll get to about the sixtieth minute. We'll make some changes and see see how uh, other people do. Is there hair? I want to see more from Pogba as well. Oh, ah, that's unlucky. That's unlucky. A little bit of lacking, a bit of sharpness, I think, but otherwise, uh, not too bad. Yeah, definitely want to see see more from uh, Pogba than you do in real life because I think he's an incredibly talented footballer. It's just he has this, I don't know, whatever it is. That's great for McTominay. It's exactly what I want to see from him. <sighs> Neres. He deserves a goal today, but I don't think he's going to get one. Oh, quick counter. Nice from Maguire. Okay, we'll pause it this time just in case there's a goal, but we will uh it's interesting we don't have a percentage of their for their fitness, isn't it? I mean Cavani looks great. I'm gonna bring on him for uh one. I wanna get um Eric Bally. Actually I don't Oh, he can't just undo the... Oh, no, there we go, undo. There we go, they just moved it. Maguire. Uh, who do we want up on the right? We want Donny in for... I think probably for Paul. Martial on for Rashford. Uh, I want to give Mandzukic a go, but I might bring him on a bit later. And Neres. He's okay at the minute. 
it's interesting not to have that percentage of for the the um, player's fitness. Actually, that's something which I've relied on for for years. You know. <laughs> Hopefully we'll we'll get another goal, a bit of a bit more freshness from uh, some legs like Donny and Martial, and uh, we'll do all right. Ooh, yeah. So it's, we, our shooting has been slightly off, isn't it? If we're being honest, but it's probably just lack of match sharpness. Williams looks like he's a bit knackered in uh, left back there. I don't know if I've got another left back. Oh, I have actually. No, I haven't. I did. He had been playing in another match, wasn't he? Yeah, so Williams is just going to have to be knackered, isn't he? Unless we put on like Lingard or something like that back there, or Fred or Matic. Uh, who else is knackered? Neres. So we'll bring on, bring on Mason Greenwood. And Bruno for... Bring on maybe Bruno for... Oh, listen, Lingard. Let's give him a go. I'm going to bring off Brandon Williams for Fred. I know it's not the position you want, but, you know, seeing as he's my only fit left back, I don't really want to waste him, you know, playing for Salford. But against Salford, sorry. Been a bit disappointing in the second half. I think they've just got a bit complacent, really. Ah, oh, that's another pen. Edison Cavani will now take the penalty. This could get his second. I want to take him off, actually. I'll take him off after this. Yeah. Good goal. 4 1. Let's bring on Mandzukic. See what he can do. I don't think Salford would like playing against Mario Mandzukic, would they? Or Edison Cavani. <laughs> Wiley. Uh, forwards might be having shots but they're from long range our XG total is 2.47 I mean that's not too bad yeah. oh Lingard you give him a chance this is how he repays your faith. I don't think Fred's even left foot. I think actually Fred is left footed, so. Oh, what a ball. Oh, that's a cracking ball there. Brilliant. Tommy Ashu. Tom and A and Tommy Ashu. It's given time. Martial on the back post. Lovely. 5-1. Our XG is four, which is pretty high, <laughs> to be honest. But again, yeah, what would, would you expect? It's it's Salford, so yeah, manager worked to treat, taught work to treat, didn't it? So I mean, Mazzucchi didn't put a great performance in up top, but he probably needs some performance. Bruno Fernandes was the best performer. Lingard actually did okay. Fred didn't do brilliantly if left. But 6.9 is fine, isn't it? Left wing back. Um, yep, totally what I was looking for. Uh, and we also... Oh, no, we drew South End. Our under 23s drew South End. Oh, 7.3. Good. Very good. Charlison. Yeah, this is Octavio who I want. I think he's really good. I would love Dominic Calvert-Lewin as well. In the last uh, football manager, so football manager 20, he was decent. Um, I had him with a, a Bolton team um, who I got to the Premier League, and he was pretty good. Oh, okay. Cancel that. Um, 
but I'll be intrigued to see how he is with this one, with his start to this season, definitely. Okay, looks good. Can't be disappointed with a 5-1 win. Octavio. He feels yeah, it would benefit his family financially. Interesting. I've never seen that as a as a reason. A third party would you two million? Yes. Yes to Octavio. Add to training house. Rashford's my boy. I always get him to welcome new new guys. I guess because he's, I don't know if he's like one of the longest serving players currently at Man United, but potentially could be. I would like a lot of these players, but ultimately they're incredibly overpriced. And uh, can't afford any of them. This guy's interesting. Hang on. Hmm. 21 year old Mexican. Pretty cheap. We'll scout him. So I, I, that's basically concluded my my thing, and now this is interesting. So I would definitely sell Jesse Lingard in a heartbeat. Octavio, twenty three million, he's worth apparently. Um, I just like the versatility of him a lot. I like, I think he's a very good player. Could be the next Anderson. I'm saying that because he's Brazilian, and he comes from Porto, but. People underestimated Anderson. They, they, he was a very good player for Man United. He did a great job for them. It's kind of the sort of thing Man United miss now. These kind of players who, when they come in, really um, you know, make their mark every now and then, but are not, you know, are not probably who you would put in your, your first eleven. And I don't think Man United really have them at the minute. Like they have players who come in every now and then, but you know, players like Lingard, Matter, example, they just don't really add that much to you. Matter's really good if you're playing against lower league opposition, like he always does well there, but, you know, how many games a season are you going to play for there? So this was a guy who I was considered buying. Um, they wanted about 20 million for him. The reason why I liked him was he was a ball-winning box-to-box midfielder, but he could also play right wing as well. The reason why I didn't sign him was he's five foot seven, and I was like, hmm... Like great aggression, work rate, and everything. And I was like, he would be really good backup, but for twenty million, I don't think that uh, that would be too good. I don't think we need to attend a trial day. Is that of interest, my my team, Crystal Palace? How are they? How have they rated Air Barrett? Oh yeah, pretty good actually. I will probably do an off camera. Uh, playthrough of Palace just because I love playing as Palace Wilf play, I always play him as an advanced forward now yeah that'd be interesting to play as Palace so Hull City next it's definitely a step up from Salford but in reality um, you know maybe not uh Oh, okay. Ravella got two assists. I think he, I think he might be too good for crew. <laughs> Which is a nice position to be in, right? Too good for crew. Um, yeah, I've been looking for a director of football, but I don't think it's going to be you, Michael Emanello. I kind of want. I kind of wanted a name. You know, I always like having a good name, and there doesn't seem to be very many. Let's have a look on the. Star search actually. Staff role. I think it's under recruitment, isn't it? Director of football, yeah. Uh we've got Tony Adams. Patrick Anderson, who's the not very good Swedish <coughs> for well, he was very good forward for Sweden, but not very good at uh director of footballing, Stephen Appier. Mark Arnold, who's the New Zealand... No, South African, sorry. Is it Max Arnold, the, the New Zealand player, I think? Um, I 
Dimitar Berbatov. <gasps> do we? If we see Man United legend, so we do it. Sod it. If given the director of football role, Man United. Is he on there? Um, you would have thought Berbatov was. I've always thought Berbatov was a really good player for Man United, and he played. He was again a similar player to like Anderson in so much as didn't play every game. Played a fair few games, absolutely. Um, let's look at his record though. Um, oh, okay, we'll, we'll do it when we do that uh, when he signs. But yeah, it just felt like um, right. So I don't need any more staff there. One director of football. Under twenty three, I definitely need coaches. Under twenty three, fitness coach. Under twenty three, goalkeeping coach. Under twenty three, performance analyst. Under eighteens, nearly stocked. We just need those. Yeah, we just need those physios and those sports scientists, basically. Um. Oh, so okay, we're going for Dembele. FC Bayern are going for Nandes. Oh, now I feel like I should have signed him. <laughs> yeah. To be fair, they've offered a lot less than what I did as well. So that's uh, that's fine. Oh, well, I've tried to sign Vinicius Jr. I don't need him. I don't need him. Ooh. Okay. Dan James, he's out. Dan James is. Let's, I mean, let's have a look at our team report. Like, squad depth, is he anywhere near? No, we should just loan him out. He shouldn't really be anywhere near our first team currently. Um, he's wanted on loan. I will put him as available for loan. There's no point holding him back. Jesse Lingard absolutely can leave. Oh well. I'm going to transfer this to him. We need to probably put an asking price as well. And I'll put it at 15 million. Let's see what happens there. Matter. He's not 135k a week, so I would definitely loan him out. But I do, I do want them to pay at, so at least 80%. Um, that probably will do. Keep a nice, nice squad going. Arsenal make basic offer. <laughs> I mean, that's Arsenal all over, isn't it? <laughs> uh, if we have a look at Arsenal, actually. Oh, they have got Thomas Party. That's cool. Nicholas Pepe. Down to 34 million, yeah, from the 72. Pepe's such a funny one. I never know. Like, at what point do you just call it and go, yeah, it's not really working out. We should probably cut our losses. Loan offers for Dan James. Um, nice will take the 160k a month. Renz. Don't, don't. Don't make me laugh. Bayern. Right, so. Uh, these three. This is nowhere near good enough. Accept and give ultimatums to selected clubs. I think that's what I've done. Uh, I'm sorry, you want to pay? No. This is a joke. Berbatov set for Man United. So, my theory was with Berbatov that he, well, he actually played a lot more than I thought, to be fair. But he should, he should be at least, like, you would think, I bet he's on Tottenham's, like, Dimitar Berbatov. No, apparently not. How is Harry Kane only favoured personnel and Gareth Bale? They're like, they should be icons at least there. That's a really weird 
If the Ogin Klinsman and David Juno are Ledley King. Oh, I guess Ledley King, yeah, I can understand that actually. He was there a long time. He's a coach now, isn't he? Yeah, he's a coach of them. Bale. Oh, he Bale's at Spurs. Awesome. Okay. Uh yes. Uh Octavio for James. Right, we will uh Well, apparently he's fine. Okay, that's fine. Do worry a little bit about central defence. Let's do that. Move Maguire to the ball when he actually looks like he's increased there, so that's good. Tommy Pogba, there is Bruno Rashford Cavani. Barney, don't care. I scored two goals last time. He can't be. No chance of him to show his potential. Williams isn't ready for a match like this. Okay. We should be winning this one. Again, it's Hull. Lads, lads, it's Hull. Come on. And it's Pen. No. Ooh. VAR. If we had VAR, that would have been a pen. I feel like considering, like, people were a bit worried this year because they were worried about the features and things like that because, you know, of coronavirus and, and having to work from home so much and stuff like that and how that affected it. But I feel like they've done a really good job so far. <clears throat> um, people always moan about the match engine. And I get it. It doesn't look like FIFA. But that's not what Football Manager is about. It never has been. I don't know if I would want like a FIFA-style match engine. I, I kind of like the <clears throat> slight jankiness of it all. Oh, it's poggers. It's a Pogba. I mean, if you look, at, you know, I said before, like, about if you actually look at how far we've come, then it's really a long, long way <laughs> compared to, say, like, FIFA. I think if you played FIFA 10, or whatever the hell it was called, you'd be like, yeah, it still looks all right. If you played Football Manager 2011, you would be like, ooh, yeah. It would be FIFA 11, actually, wouldn't it? Oh, Rashford. Is that Neres with two assists now? Did he assist um, Pogba? Uh, I don't know how to check any of this. Uh, Neres? No. Um. Oh, you can shout a specific player. Nice. I like that. Let's shout. Who do we need to shout at? Cavani. Oh, no. Sorry. How do we do this? Fire up. Confirm. Put a rocket. Oh, God, he's gone. He's gone down now. <clears throat> Come on, Rashford. Ben. We are, really are petting Chester United. Like, it, it came true, the prophecy. Oh my God, Bruno missed it. What is going on, Bruno? Bruno, Bruno, Bruno. Okay. Tom and A. I mean, we are battering Hull, but we I think Hull, Hull's still League One. Apparently, I can't check that right now. Oh, okay. Uh, 
Yeah, I'm happy with it, lads. Keep it going. Cavani's not having a great game. We could try bringing on. Um... He's quite happy though. I'll give him. I'll give him another ten. See how he does. Then we'll bring on um, Martial for him. I think to try it, Martial out. I do like Neres. I think he's been really good. He's very positive. But Tomini's just been solid as well. But it's Hull and Salford, so we'll see how he does when we play like Bayern Munich. And it's another pen. Come on, Bruno. Chance to redeem yourself. If he misses this one, I'm taking him off penalties. Yeah, I redeemed it. Redeemed it. Right. Let's get into the tactics and subs. Uh, yeah, I'm going to try Martial for Cavani. Uh, Donny on for Paul. Just leave it at that right now. We've seen McTominay getting skinned all too often today. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh, goodness me. It was wild there. McTominay's knackered, apparently, so we'll bring him off and bring on, bring on Nemanja Matic for him. See how he does. Very much a slow player, but... Uh, we need to bring on a few more players now. Aaron. Do our usual Fred substitute. Bring on Octavio. Uh, Bruno for... I think I'll try one matter there. Rashford for... Mandzukic and then switch him for Martial. De Gea with a good, good catch. It could have been dangerous. It's Rashford. Nice. Ooh, unlucky Marcus. It's caught me to my has been getting skinned all too often today. It might mean that we have to bring Paul Pogba back to more of a... Uh, the one thing I could do is maybe move him to a more deep-line playmaker and then move Fernandez to just an attacking midfielder, which is totally an option I've got. I might try that against a uh, better side. to kind of give McTominay a bit more support. Now, Pogba's not like a defensive midfielder, but, you know, so not, I guess it was good. Good performance, lads. Berbatov is director of football. Brilliant. Let's see what he wants to sign. Right, um, we're going to finish up there, uh, this episode. Uh, I'm going to probably play these friendlies off camera, work some more stuff out, and then we'll go back to the Bayern and then we'll have our first game of the season, I think. Um, but yeah, till next time, guys. Thanks for watching as always. See you soon.